Welcome to another Electro Technology video and today we are looking at crimp plugs. How do we do it? There is a correct and incorrect way. So watch on and let's find out the correct way to apply crimp plugs. So I have with me here a container full of various different lugs and links and things that we need to press or crimp onto wires. Now I have seen over the years many, many people actually do this incorrectly. Uh, it's very, very simple, but most people that use these things generally aren't trade qualified electricians. So there's a couple of little things that we have to do uh, that they're unaware of. And what happens then is people see other people doing that and they learn by copying and bad habits fall into place. So I'm going to show you the correct way to apply a crimp lug or a link or anything else that gets compressed onto the end of a wire. So to do that, I've got two tools. I've got my ratchet crimper, which just basically opens up, ratchets in, and I've got my pliers. For the most part, you'll probably use your pliers for small little jobs, but there will be certain jobs where you will be required under the standards and even under some of the specifications for various buildings and building sites and premises and all that sort of stuff, where you are required to use ratchet crimpers like this or much, much larger. Um, so keep that in mind when you are working, uh, the type of work that you are doing and whether or not you should be using either one of these tools. So let's start with a piece of cable. We'll strip the cable and I'll show you how to actually put it all together. Okay, so with my piece of wire, um, I need to strip and twist the end, just like I would do for any other termination. And if you haven't seen the video all about um, preparing a cable for termination, please do so, because that explains exactly what I'm doing right now. So I take my wire. Once I have my wire stripped, I obviously need to twist it so it looks like a piece of rope, the same as you would do for any wiring termination. There we go, you can see that. Nip it off to the right length. And then I need to select the correct size for the wire I'm using. Now this is a 1.5 millimeter square wire, so I'm going to choose the link that goes with 1.5 millimeter cable. And now take my lug and slide my lug on over the top. And what's really important is that I have a little bit of copper sticking out of this end and I have no copper sticking out of the other end. So it should look something like that. Now with my ratchet crimpers, I'll take the crimpers and you'll see that there's a section here on the crimpers that will squash down. Depending on the ratchet crimpers you're using, some of them will have like a hexagonal clamp that clamps down on them, especially the larger ones. This one just has a point where it basically squashes in at the bottom. So I need to make sure I'm lining that up correctly and I need to make sure that goes on the underneath, like that. Just try and line that up there for the camera so you can see it like that. And I squash this down all the way. And there you go, you can see that it is nicely crimped down through the middle underneath and that is done. Okay, now if I was to do this with my pliers and I'll just do the other end, it's the same process, but my pliers don't have the option to ratchet. So again, I prepare the wire in such a way that the copper cores are twisted. And this is, this is the big mistake. This is what I was talking about earlier on. This is where people get things wrong, okay, um, is they don't twist that wire. So with my pliers, if you're using a set of pliers like these ones, these ones are the um, channel lock lines and pliers, they actually have a crimping tool at the back and it's the exact same process as what I did with the ratchet. I put it in, there's one spot there that's going to clamp, clamp in, make sure it's underneath, squash it down like that and there we go and it is done, perfectly crimped. 
Now the big mistake that I mentioned earlier was that if you don't twist the wires um, and you just put the wires straight into this lug and you crimp it down, what happens is the wires will spread apart and the individual cores can then essentially break off, um, which is no good. Also, under vibration, they're likely to possibly slip out as well. So we must always twist our wire to make sure that those cores can't come apart and it is a solid connection and that will work for you every time. And that is really all there is to crimping. There's nothing more than that. You have different sizes, different types. This one's a link, so I can put cables in either side. I have push-on lugs like this one where I can actually just push things on. I have the ones I've used here, which have got loops. There's all sorts of different types that you can use for different parts of the industry. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've got something from this video. And I hope, of course, that you've learned something from this video. And if so, please like and subscribe. I will see you next time and have a nice day.